Welcome to the IFRS uh, YouTube teaching videos. These are summaries of the lectures delivered by Zoom platform to the rural surgeons all over the world during the lockdown. Today we're going to talk about the practicing on simulators that are delivered in April. So one of the problems in rural areas is that we don't have enough uh, patients so that you can practice your skills directly on patients. And uh, that is the reason why we need uh, simulators to practice and uh, learn the new skills which you can use in treating the patients. There are many simulators which are available, like this uh, Innovus one, which is an expensive simulator. And these are designed by the SAGES or the Society of American Gastroenterologic Surgeons to practice and uh, they have developed a very validated uh, way of practicing in these simulators. And uh, they also know how you perform in the simulator, how it translates to actually performing in the patients. And after this, there are many, many types of uh, simulators which are available in the market. Basically, these have a webcam so that you can have a look in the monitor or screen, which can be a TV monitor or a laptop computer and so on. And then use the regular instrument that you normally use for doing surgeries. And the costs range from in Indian rupees about uh, 10 to 20,000 rupees. And some of them are very, very expensive. And uh, the University of Leeds, the NIHR, GHR the project with whom we had worked, have produced a low cost simulator, which is very lightweight and it can actually fold into a small box and could be assembled in 10 minutes. And you don't need any special monitor for this. You can use the Android phone, the laptop computer, or iPad. And we also done some studies to see how this compares with the Innova simulator, which you showed first, which is the expensive simulator. And if you don't have any of these, either the GHRG low cost one or the standard ones or the expensive ones, you can actually use uh, what is available. This uh, we suggested and uh, the people who are using it during the lockdown because it's getting any of this is difficult during the lockdown. So you can use a cell phone or an iPad, an ordinary cardboard box. And uh, instead of the accessories, you can use uh, something like this to practice the skills. And here you can practice both the uh, regular laparoscopic surgeries or the single incision surgeries. The FLS program or fellowship and laparoscopic surgery training program. They have these standard tasks, which is a uh, big transfer, which you see here. You can transfer, you need to take it with one instrument, transfer it to the next one and uh, place it on the other side. This has to be completed within 300 seconds. And then you have what is called precision cutting. So you cut along a circle. Then you practice knotting, which is either extracorporeal or intracorporeal, and also practice uh, suturing. And they're given these time limits so that uh, you practice so that you become proficient to complete these tasks within the time limit. And uh, what basically these training does is the 3D actions are carried out using the 2D images because you see a flat screen and you need to convert it into three-dimensional actions, especially while toy, I mean, tying, suturing, knotting, and so on. And then the important skill to learn is intra or extracorporeal knotting, then suturing, and dissection and cutting. These are the basic steps in any surgical procedure. So once you master this, you can do most of the surgery. The first thing which you need to learn is to what is called the peg transfer. This basically, as we said earlier, converts three-dimensional actions from 2D images. And uh, whatever 
the standard uh, this thing is suggest to make it simple you can use just a maryland forceps and a needle holder and uh, also you can practice using different hands of pick up and uh, placing and you can also tilt the board so that uh, it can create different angles and so on but then uh, this basically will help you to understand uh, how to convert uh, 2d pictures into 3d actions and then uh, endo loops a little difficult to get so this if you go through in detail it will describe you how to make a low cost endo loop which you can uh, make by yourself by using the pusher of dj stent and uh, practice and uh, we have man, actually gone a little further than the standard ones to practice doing appendicectomies so you can use a stuffer glove and then uh, you can use this fingers you treat them like appendix and uh, learn how to tie and cut between the knots and appendicectomy is generally with gasless we do in a single incision so it's a very good uh, skill to practice how to put these endo loops and uh, cut between the loops and then the tying you can also use the same uh, pick transfer equipment that you have for learning how to tie different knots extra corporeal knots are easier to learn or probably the, the first thing you need to start practicing and you can use uh, two types of knot pushers as this uh, diagram shows this you just place over the suture and then push and the other one you try a standard knot between the threads you keep pushing and this settles you how to tie a knot using a single incision so the basic uh, principle of a knot is that you have a loop and uh, you have to push the thread through the loop so that it comes to the other side you can tie it so the trick here is to start placing the shorter thread below the longer one take this up and then push it through the loop and then uh, you can tie it this needs a little bit of practice and uh, one with practice you can become proficient in carrying out the single incision knotting and uh, this is the second knot or third knot which you can apply in the same way there are videos in the main lecture which you can watch to learn how to do these then there are various other types of uh, ways of doing the knotting you can hold it with a needle holder turn it around then uh, use a shorter loop to go through the loop and pick it basic idea is that you form a loop and then push the shorter thread through the loop and this is another way of uh, probably another easy way of doing single incision knotting we are trying to show you various types of knotting because uh, you can choose which is comfortable or easier for you this involves holding it and rotating it and then uh, using the metal and forceps to complete the knot and then uh, this is a low cost way of practicing sutures because the disposables again you need to buy they are quite expensive and uh, during lockdown and so on you may not be able to get those disposables so you can use the ordinary gauze piece and uh, practice uh, knotting and uh, suturing using the gauze piece and uh, the important one of the important skill is to pick up the needle and hold it in the right place and uh, suture and uh, precision cutting we have made uh, one step further than the fls in that we again stuff a locally available or easily available gloves and then draw the line so this will give you even a three dimensional image I mean three dimensional uh, way of cutting it using a two dimensional image while the standard fls is in one plane so this is in multiple planes which is closer to reality in the tissues and dissecting can be done 
like this you can attach a various uh, patches of velcro which you can dissect with the forceps and uh, start removing it so when there is no simulator as we said they can even uh, use our ordinary cardboard box and the cell phone to practice these switches thank you